In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily create, use, and remove filters in Excel. What you can see here is that we have a data set of monthly fruit sales for January through to June, and we want to create some filters on this data. The first thing that I would recommend is highlighting all of the headers. So for this example, it is the month as well as the fruits up the top. And then we, in the home tab, scroll over to the right hand side where it says sort and filter. Drop this guy down and select on the option of filter. And you'll see here that each of these headers now has the option of a drop down menu that allows you to sort from the information below. If you want to use any of these filters, simply use the drop down menu. So for orange, oranges, for example, I'm going to select all, or in this case, deselect all, and pick everything that has 100 or more sales and select on OK. And that's gonna filter that data down. If you wanna filter it even further, you could select on the same orange filter and choose to select or deselect, or you could select on another option like apples, and then let's filter everything that is 200 or above, or below, sorry. And you can see here we've created additional filters. If you want to remove one or more filters, you can select on each column individually, and then there is the option of clear filters from apples. You can do the same thing for oranges, clear filter for oranges, or if you just wanna add all those filters back in, you can select on the table here, drop down the sort and filter option, and then just hit the clear button, and that's gonna get rid of all of the filters instead of having to do each of them manually. One thing I wanna point out is that when you do filter information, let's sort some of this information again. The information isn't deleted, but it's just hidden. And you can tell that it's hidden by two ways. The first is that there is the little filter symbol letting you know that the orange column has a filter on it. And then on the left-hand side, you can see the numbers here are no longer sequ sequential. It goes one, two, three, but then four, six, and eight. These are highlighted in blue, letting you know that there's actually information in here that has been filtered out. Again, you can select on that drop-down menu then you can choose the option of clear filters and that's gonna show you all of the information one more time. If you wanted to remove the filters from this data set, we can select all of these, drop down the filter option, and then we can untick the button of filter. So this will turn those filters off, so super handy. Another thing you can do, I don't use it that often, but I will show you how to do it, is you can actually create a filter on just one section by highlighting that entire row dropping down that filter option and then pressing the filter button. And then you see here that you can actually now just use the option of grapes to filter this information, select on okay. And then it's gonna use the filter on grapes to impact all of the other data, or we're gonna press control Z and that is going to undo that as well. One other thing I wanna show you, I'm going to put a filter back on all of these by selecting on filter removing and then adding the filter one more time is that you can drop down the filter option and you can also choose an option of filter by numbers if the information underneath is numbers say for example we just want to filter everything that is greater than 85 sales and we're going to select on okay it will actually allow you to say anything greater than 85 is going to be shown other than that it's going to be filtered out if we undo that one more time, we're gonna clear those filters, jump over to the months column, and we're gonna go text filter because the information underneath is text. And we could say it equals or it does not equal or it begins or it ends with. I'm gonna say it begins with the letter M. Say for example, we wanna see every month that starts with M and the sales. You can see here we've quickly filtered there. And then again, if you wanna undo that, you can select on the filter option and then hit the option of clear filter for month. 